Hello, Sandra Aquafina. I'm such big fans of you both. Thank you so much for Quiz Lady. This movie was phenomenal. I watched it at TIFF to a crowded house and everybody was just laughing so hard. Uh, we loved it so much. And I'm from Toronto. So it brought me such pride, Sandra, to see a Canadian just like own it in that theater. Um, but yeah, I I love you both so much. I have the most important question to ask, and I think this is going to be a really fun one. Um, is there a comfort game show you love watching or have been dying to ever be on for both of you? I just wanted to start singing the theme song to definition. <laughs> it, 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 I, I'm dating myself here. Um, let's say I, I'm not necessary. I feel like I have too much anxiety about my, uh, about game shows because my sister is amazing at trivia and amazing wow. game shows. And mm -hmm. I remember absolutely when I was younger, just trying to get her on actually trying to get her onto definition because she yeah. was, she was so good at it. Um, uh -huh. I think she took that mantle up in, in, in my family yeah. regarding like, the comfort of, of game shows. Mm -hmm. I love Jeopardy, but it was always a little, little, uh, you need, you need a lot of knowledge for that. <laughs> I, I always, I like the stakes of like, kind of remember that she was like a little bit angry mm. uh, and she had like short red hair and she'd like stand in the middle and like kind of roast everybody. Do you remember yeah. that show? I for, oh, I for, oh, oh yes. Uh, the weakest link. The weakest link. Yes. I would have loved it to do it like that because <laughs> yeah. it's like, there's so much dopamine and anxiety going on yeah. that, that I would just be like, yeah. You know what? I, I gotta tell you, when I, when we were growing up, we would watch the family feud. Oh yeah. And that was like, we would watch it together as a family. Yeah. yeah. My parents and I, we used to watch match game and then I ended up actually being on the Canadian version, but I lost. <laughs> and so, um, but it was a fun experience. It just goes so quickly, which is so crazy when you actually are in the middle of a, an actual game. Like it's not, it's not like how it is on TV. Um, but uh, that's a story for another day. Um, something that I really loved about this movie was the chemistry between you two. Uh, it's so authentic and genuine. Um, this is a question for both of you. So what is one thing you each value about the other as a scene partner that might also have given you the chance to extend your character in ways you probably couldn't without one another. Great mm. question. That is a great question. Yeah. I think Sandra, um, she was she, as a scene partner, she's, a, she's just a, an incredible actress that she's in it. And I think that to bounce off of somebody who is in it, and who allows it, it allows you to be in it too. Um, it's felt extremely fluid. It, it felt, it wasn't like we were doing a scene sometimes like, like our conversations outside of the scenes versus when we went into it. Um, she was a very, very trust, trustworthy scene partner who allows you to, to, um, just sees you and re reacts off of you constantly. She's an incredible actress. Yeah. Well, one, uh, Nora is very interesting. She, you know what I mean? She's very, very interesting. Like, I don't know what she's going to do. So you have to really pay attention. Not everyone's like that, you know, but she happens to do that. And, 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 you know, that's just the way that she is, but she's interesting. And then also I'd say it's, um, oh, oh well, one, she's a great improviser. I mean, when you're talking about comedy, you know, yeah. we were very, very attuned to each other, uh, because uh, that has to be in, in that, in that realm for it to be alive. And I will really echo what she said. What, like we, we really worked on our relationship, like not in a heart. We really spent time together. We, uh, embraced each other and we really cultivated that relationship, which continues on. We have a, we have a deep relationship continuing on. So when we were in scenes, it was like, um, you you're just in the pocket of your characters and you're just reacting off of each other. Yeah. Yeah. And Aquafina, I heard you, Sandra and directors, Jessica, you, you got, you guys collaborated on this like a year before filming and you shared all these different scenarios and including what is the scene where Anne is, you know, digging a hole. So my question is, was it ever supposed to be that outlandish or was there an alternate sort of scene? Cause I feel like that worked so perfectly. It's so tender, but then it gets into like the story is so tender, but then it gets into something that's very like out of the blue. You don't expect, you don't expect it. And I remember everybody in the theater, when we were watching it, we were like, oh, there's like, it's very quiet. But then when, when the moment you say what it is, it's like, oh, and everyone's erupts in laughter. And it's so funny. And the same thing with the dad's death. I thought it was just so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I will say that um, it, during that summer, we definitely like added things into the script, which was pretty much there. It was just, it hadn't really been written 
uh, for uh, Asian American, uh, Asian women. So we, 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 me and Sandra and uh, with Jen's obviously like w- wanted us to do this. We wanted to fill in by telling stories. So I'm just going to say that like, there's not, there's not, a, it's, some of it's true. <laughs> They're based on stories that we really shared, uh, yeah. that really happened to us. And yeah. I think that like, it's, it's just when it's, when it's the truth or it's a true story that maybe happened to you or someone in your life and you, you retell it. It's like, it, it's just the truth. I don't, you know, but uh, I, don't, I won't tell you which ones are. <laughs> no, I, yeah. But it's, I, I would say it's also common. It's yeah. so common and it's so elemental. So yes, during that time, <laughs> there, was, there were some of us in our, that group who, you know, shared stories of that fundamental thing of like, when you're a kid, and yeah. you're not in control, you know, how an expression can happen through, you know, your waterworks, you know what I mean? And just saying shit in the hole is funny. Yeah, It's like, you know, there's something elemental that is really funny. And I think that is really, really relatable because I'll tell you, you know, in, in an audience of like, I don't know, maybe there was like a, whatever, let's say 800 people. I bet you 600 of them shot their pants when they were a kid. Yeah, it's true. Um, you know, and Sandra, you actually, you really play against type in this. This is a role we've never really seen you in. Um, I'm wondering, what does it take to create a balance of someone who has shared Anne's trauma, but also managed to really put it aside for her little sister that she's, you know, being the authoritative figure to help her out? Oh, yeah. You know, because there's such an age difference between the characters, you can see the way that each of the kids, uh, each of the sisters dealt with uh, their father leaving and then dying, and then also their mother's gambling issue, right? So they just kind of went opposite directions. Mm-hmm. One was all about chasing her dreams and kind of not really being in reality. And the other one was like really being um, uh, kind of going into, um, what, what am I doing? Like, like a, tuning a, everything out. Like really kind of tuning everything out, but making her world really small mm. because just, she just did not feel safe. Um, and so I think there's an emotional thread and a character thread that you can start building from there because we're always building in some ways in opposition from each other. You know what I mean? Because you have, you, then you create tension, you create dynamic, but mostly you create comedy. Uh Um, and then of course, you know, they, they, they come together in that emotional moment because, you know, the film is about that. They have each other's back. Um, yeah. So emo- I, I, I mean, all the steps in the script from Jenny Angel's script was there of like how these how these two sisters approach life from opposite ends because of their shared trauma, but then come to this place where um, they're just really with each other and yeah. accept each other a little bit more than they did before. Sure. Uh, before I let you go, I, I do have to ask about that cameo. It was so perfect and it just tied everything together. What was it like spending that time with uh, Paul Rubens in those final scenes? It was such a beautiful thing to see. And even I don't know, if, um, you know, Jessica told you guys, but at the TIFF presentation, they all came out. The crew came out wearing red bow ties to honor him. And everyone in the crowd was just even the woman beside me was just crying because she thought it was so sweet. But um, yeah, please share your experience with him. I would love to hear it. I mean, I was obs- obsessed with with Pee Wee Herman, like like so meeting him. At, and I'm going to I mean, I don't know if this is under wraps, but but Sandra really helped us because um, one thing that n- never changed in the script was that cameo. It was always specifically him. It was ne- it was not changed. And um I was, I just remember thinking like, like my dreams would not be able to come true that much that he would say yes. And Sandra made it happen. And he was, you know, he's, he was a huge fan of Sandra. Um, and he, he came out and, and did it. It was our first day shooting, right? You just reminded me. It was our first day. And he was such a, such a pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. It was your birthday. It was like your birthday. It was Paul. It was the very first day. It was meeting Paul. And it was like that, you know, if we didn't get Paul, this entire Francine storyline wouldn't make sense. <laughs> and it's just one of those things where it's like, it, you know, you, you you hang on in this industry long enough and you're going to know people. So it was we were like having a meeting. And then I was like, OK, I, OK, I, I have Paul. <laughs> no, literally, literally. And I was like, you just you have, what do you mean? You just have like, like, that's how much of a baller Sandra is, you know, it just like, 
like, wow. Yeah. It happened almost immediately. Too. Yeah, it did. And then it was like, he was, he's all the things that you uh, hoped he would be, which is like, so joyous, so lovely, so odd and so um, genuine right. and, and generous, generous. Yeah. yeah. We were very, very, very lucky and we miss him a lot. Mm -hmm. oh, I love that. That just I just got chills. That was so sweet to say. But you know, um, thank you so much for this movie. You have no idea. I I have Asian Canadian friends. I'm an, a child of immigrants, understanding this trauma, the immigrant trauma thing. It's so real. And so I really appreciate it. And I got to watch with my sister and we just we just sobbed together. It was such a beautiful movie and it's so funny. So thank you so much to both of you. I'm such a big thank fan. You. Answer a couple thank questions. You.